you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm gonna be going over what you guys gotta you gotta want to be doing this right now. I'm gonna be doing it as soon as I got some free time after school. Once I'm done with you know my week, because I only go for two days a week, so I'm typically I'm pretty done for the rest of the week, and then I can start grinding, guys. This right now is a thing that doesn't come too often in Madden. Not too often do they give us a break and give us some nice rewards like that. So I think you guys definitely want to be taking advantage. I know this is going to be a drag and it's not going to be the most fun thing to do, but it's going to be worth it. And there's another way I have, so stay tuned later in the video how to take advantage of this. Not just so forth getting the rewards, but make sure that you stay on top of what I'm going to tell you towards the end of the video because you guys are going to want to stay tuned for that. Trust me. I'm going to explain all in detail on the market and how you could easily use this to your advantage on top of those rewards. So first thing, guys, is solo battle rewards this week is doubled. Now, before we get into all the logistics and everything that's going to be going on in this video, guys, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell, guys. We're grinding to 9K. We just hit 8K. Thank you so much for all the support. I greatly appreciate it. I didn't think from 2K to the next month I'd be at 8K already. This Madden season's been wild. Just thank you guys so much, okay? Comment down below anything you guys are doing with solo battles specifically and the best ways you guys think are to beat solo battles down below to help out all the subscribers and everyone watching so they can get the best methods if anyone wants to be generous comment it down below and also make sure to like that video guys let's get this video to 200 likes show some support in the video now guys let's come over here so you guys know how solo battles works it's pretty much i want to say 12 games there's 12 games and a featured opponent so theoretically it's like 13 games i believe and you play them they're all offline they're pretty simple right if you just want to beat them right not everyone's gonna place top 100 top 100 is hard top 100 takes some like a solo battle guide some solo battle skill some no know, knowing the way to efficiently beat the cpu if you guys aren't like that which i'm not like that the best way to do it guys is just to win the games all you gotta do is win the games they're so simple you play them on the hardest difficulty you have to play them on the hardest difficulty if you do not you will not get the top rewards so to get the top tier besides top 100 will be legend now this week solo battle rewards are doubled so if you guys don't know already that's pretty crazy to have solo battle rewards doubled because that's a lot of coins if you guys really think about it. So the coin quick sells are 44,500. If you double that, it's about 90K. So that's 90K coins, 120 trophies. That's pretty huge. Second, those trophies, we'll, we'll be getting them next week. So there should be series two trophies, which is even better because you guys are gonna wanna get your series master. Second, you're gonna get four midfield packs, four Hail Mary packs. Those midfield packs sell for about 9K each. So that's nine times four, that's 36,000. So you're already rocking with like 120,000 coins and 120 trophies. Then if you get four red zone packs, that's, uh, what is it, 60K this year? 60 times four, that's 240K. So that's 240K plus 120K. You're rocking with like 360K plus the Hail Mary packs, plus the trophy, and you get entered for Weekend League next week. So as a whole, I think that's just awesome. That's tons of coins, pretty damn near close to about 360K, if my math is exactly correct there. So that's pretty awesome, right? You're gonna be getting those rewards. Now guys, the way to go about beating these, the way I did them last year and the way I've been doing them this year is pretty much you come out in a play that has your running back running to the flats. Now, not just a, not 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 a not like a pitch or what's called a bubble, like not not a bubble to the outside, not a flat route. You guys know the route where like I use I run it out of concept in the Patriots play, but concept um, sale and you just throw Pat sale the whole time. It's literally the, the route looks like a guy goes up, doesn't in. A guy goes up, doesn't in, and the running back comes out like this in an angle towards the sideline. The running back's almost always open. So what I typically do, you just throw it to RB the whole game. You chew clock and you knock out these games pretty easily and that'll be just enough to still place Legend tier. So like I said, Legend tier may seem like a lot, but it's literally just winning every game. And winning these games are not hard. Like I said, on the hardest difficulty, all you do is you just throw it to the running back in the flats and the times that he's not open, you set some other guys to drags on the left side. And when the running back's not open, the drags will be open. Trust me guys. And you just put chew clock on. You can knock out a whole, a whole drive can almost kill an entire half. And then on the on the defense, you come out in mid blitz or just pinch buck, and you just keep blitzing the hell out of them. Obviously, if your team's not good enough to blitz them, maybe you got to play some YouTube type style glitch defense. But for me, blitzing and throwing to the halfback every play is more than enough for me. I wouldn't recommend really running the ball unless you're really good at running the ball because it is going to be on like on Hall of Fame difficulty per se, whatever. All Madden, so that isn't going to be the easiest thing to do. But once you knock out all 12 games plus the featured opponent, I'm pretty sure you could even lose a game, but I wouldn't take that chance. If it's like last year, I'm pretty sure you could still lose a game and still get all of them, but I wouldn't take it, guys. Obviously, if you guys get disconnected or some Madden BS happens, I, I feel for you guys. I've seen a lot of people with that issue happening where they get disconnected from some game and they end up losing a solo battles for the week. But this is double this week, so you guys want to be taking advantage of this. Even I'm going to be playing solo battles again this week. 
because it's double you just that's that's more that's more rewards than weekend league and weekend league takes sweating takes hard long grinded hours put stress that i'm never gonna get back in my life this just takes them you just relax put on some netflix put on a youtube video now guys what i was saying earlier in the video stay tuned for how to take advantage of this so if you guys remember from last year when we got solo battle rewards at double last year that following monday when we got solo battle rewards and then the tuesday when we got weekend league rewards and we got all those rewards guys everyone was like bill gates and rockefeller up in here everyone had so many coins everyone like got the solo battle rewards and they bought their their cornerbacks their their, their running backs their wide receivers all those cards they've been wanting they use these coins to go splurge so that following monday tuesday when all the, like, everyone got their coins i looked at the auction block and it was inflated like hell it's like it's like anything in life right everyone has ten dollars everything's everyone has ten dollars everyone's broke the market's down everyone has a million dollars everyone's buying everything the prices fly up because everyone can afford it trust me guys in my personal opinion obviously always check before you go about doing this but come become come monday i'm gonna go over to the auction block i'm gonna go head in i'm gonna go check the prices of the 1991s i'll show you where they're sitting at now right i typically like to check you know the higher overalls those are the cards that i like to buy you check them here you're gonna see okay they're going for like 250 245 they're already heading up just a little bit by the way guys these are like 220 230 literally dig so now as you guys can see they went up already i know people are anticipating this market to inflate so they're already like investing in cards but you guys could potentially do that right if you see cards are kind of getting cheaper come legend saturday they're like 230 220 i'd recommend buying a few because i do anticipate that when we get all those rewards everyone around here is going to be rocking with at least 400k just to spend on cards People are going to be making a lot of purchases. Last year, the market skyrocketed. And on top of that, we got Series 2 coming. We got these players going to rise from all the solo battle and weekly league rewards. And then we got Mud Heroes probably like within another week or so. Probably like two weeks away. So on top of all that, there's a lot of anticipatory selling that's going on right now. Because I feel like we're in Madden Limbo right now, in my opinion. I feel like our teams are already getting overshadowed by new cards. And, it's kind of, and a lot of them have chemistries and stuff. So it's kind of time to sell them. So as you guys can see by my coin count... I'm starting to sell off some players that aren't now for my team. I didn't have many, but I'm starting to sell as many as I can. Just in, in just, I mean, I probably sold a little early. I probably should have waited till Monday. But at the same time, I want to have my coin stack ready because with all the content creating and stuff, sometimes I forget to sell things. But as a whole, guys, just stay on top of it. You don't want to be missing out. I'd recommend, like I said, I don't, I don't want to say invest because they're already expensive. But if you guys see some cards on Legend Saturday or when the Mutt 10 guy drops on Friday, if you see some cards that you're like, damn, those are really underpriced right now. I, I know their value. Go pick them up. And if they don't go up too much, whatever, you get your coins back on a little bit. They do go up. But if they go up a ton, you make coins. Like I said with the power-ups, I made a ton off those power-up investments I even told you guys to make. The only thing I didn't make money on was that Julio Jones because apparently I, I sold Julio Jones. I don't even remember selling him, but he was gone. But as a whole, guys, stay tuned for the inflation. It's most likely going to happen. It, like, history repeats itself, Madden. Last year, we got double soul, soul battle rewards, and the market literally died. Like, it was so expensive. You couldn't, I, wouldn't, I didn't buy a card for, like, a week or maybe even two weeks. I just couldn't even touch the block until it came back down. Eventually, a new promo would drop, and everything will go back to normal. But for the time being, the market's already kind of high, so it's probably going to go up even more. And with all those coins, guys, I mean, in my personal opinion, would I be buying cards with those coins or not? When I get those solo battle coins, they're going right into the coin stack. That's what I would tell you guys to do. Because everyone's going to be buying cards. It's going to be expensive. Just save all your coins. Wait for Mud Heroes to drop within like two or three weeks. Not even. And then go buy players. Because Mud Heroes are going to be the best players at every position. Realistically, Mud Heroes are going to bring about 92 overalls, 93, 91. Somewhere between that range and 90s. So those are going to be all the best players at each position. So what's going to inevitably happen? Every position's value is going to come down. So like Steve Young at 300k. If they drop like another good quarterback, might come down to like 270. Everything's going to start coming down, guys. So I'd recommend you take your solo battle rewards and your weekend league rewards this week. You go toss it into your coin stack like I'm going to be doing. Save up all your coins. Wait for the next big promo and then splurge. I do not recommend splurging this Monday. That's what people are going to do now. People who start to splurge with the first rewards, they're going to get cards for pretty decent prices. But the people that come in like an hour or two later after school or whatever, they're going to get some pretty horrible prices and they're going to lose a lot of coins. Because like buying a guy that's usually 240 and buying him for 300k, that's a 60k loss. You buy like four of those players. You theory, if you buy like two players at their overpriced power prices, you're gonna lose like 150k that you could have saved if you just bought them at another time. So that's just my opinion, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this benefits you guys. And guys, please don't forget to play your solo battles. I can't stress this enough. Not many weeks shouldn't be getting that many rewards. Like you're getting a ton of rewards from solo battles on weekend league. You could literally, if you place 
if you place legend in weekend league and then you place or ultimate and then you place ultimate or legend in solo battles you could legitimately come home this week with like 600k in the in the coin stack more than half a million coins guys this is the week to be doing both i'm just saying my personal recommendation take that as you will i hope this helps you guys thank you so much for watching make sure to drop a like on this video let's get this video to 200 likes hit that subscribe button turn on that noti bell and comment down below what your game plan is for these solo battles so you can help out all the other subscribers and all the other commenters down below thank you guys for watching enjoy the rest of your day i'm out peace